Yes, we're here with Catherine Williamson, Director of Fine Books and Manuscripts, here at Bonhams and Butterfields, and we're here looking at a collection from Ronald right. Reagan. This is a collection of Reagan correspondence, photographs, and other ephemera that was sent by Reagan to the president of his international fan club, and, uh, this a woman named Zelda Maltz. I love that name, Zelda Maltz. Uh, she was president of his fan club from the mid-40s through the rest of his theatrical career, but the correspondence actually covers the 40s through the 90s. He, yep. that, he was really that sort of guy. He maintained his correspondence and maintains his friendships from the 40s through the career, through his early, his sort of retirement from acting, when it didn't really suit him. He didn't really need to talk to his fan club anymore, but he was friends with this woman and he kept up the correspondence through his governorship through his presidency. So it's a really tremendous archive, over fi or nearly 50 years of correspondence. Out of Stackhouse, please call 5487. And it includes, it includes handwritten letters, mostly handwritten letters, in which he talks about his film career, he talks about the choices he's making as an actor, uh, and his family life, his wife, his children. He talks about the failure of his first marriage in really kind of touching uh, heartfelt ways, but he also talks about finding a new love, meeting Nancy Davis, getting married, having children with her, and then moving out of acting into more of a political career, first as president of the Screen Actors Guild, then later as governor, and then finally as president. I'm amazed actually at what he shared with her. I mean, she's president of his fan club. <laughs> he, you know, he really is the guy he looks to be on screen, or he certainly seems to be from the letters. I mean, his character, or the persona he portrayed as an actor, was this just like stand-up, decent, fun, nice guy. And in the correspondence, he is that guy. He's very open, he tells, you know, funny, sweet jokes, he, he's very sharing, he tells about, you know, what the kids have done, and, and what the family is doing on the outing. At the same time, yeah, he, he is that guy. No, he, you see in the movies. He, that's why he's the great communicator. <laughs> yeah, <there laughs> that's you right. Go. Now, you have a letter right there um, mm -hmm. that he had written to Zelda. Right. Now, this is a letter where he, it, it, he, this is probably the last letter that talks about the failure of his first marriage to Jane Wyman. They, they were married, they had two children, they separated, they tried to get back together, and then in this letter he, he informs her that that didn't work. He says, well, I guess you no doubt know that Jane decided she'd made a mistake in taking me back, so she's really getting a divorce this time. Anyway, Zelda, I have more peace of mind since I know just where I stand with her. It was pretty awful during the months I was hoping she'd want me back, so now I guess I just have to leave it with the big boss who does all things well. If we are to get back together again, I'm sure he will see that it comes to pass. If not, then he knows what's best. So, very sweet, kind of fatalistic, you know, at, at finally accepting the fact that perhaps this marriage is over, uh, and, and really kind of heartbreaking. You know, most of his letters are very positive and upbeat, and, you know, he seems to be having sort of a great time in life. So to find a paragraph where he's that sort of raw, that this, this is over, it's torn me up, but I'm starting to accept it, and now I'm going to move on, is, is really touching. And the thing that, that I like about that's the story, this letter and the story, is that, you know, he's absolutely devastated and brokenhearted, and yet in a few years he went on to marry, to meet and marry, you know, the woman who became the love of his life. And, and, and Ronald and Nancy Reagan really had one of the great love affairs of the 20th century. So.